When I started learning electronics, a water level indicator was the first project I made using some transistors, LEDs, and a copper wire completely dipped in the water tank. But due to obvious reasons, it got rusted. Then I made the same project with aluminum wire. And again, same thing happened. So I forgot about this project as there was no way I could get a stainless steel wire near me. But recently, an idea came to my mind of using ultrasonic sensor for the same project. Only thing I didn't know was if the water will bounce back the waves emitted by the sensor. There was only one way to find it. I connected the ultrasonic sensor to Arduino and uploaded the sketch and brought a bowl filled with water to check if the water can bounce the waves of the ultrasonic sensor. I opened serial monitor and concluding the results, I can say that it completely works. If you want to know how ultrasonic sensor works, and how to use it, check out my previous video. Link is in the description. Now I went ahead and planned the rest of the project. Out of all the options available for displaying the water level, I choose to go with the seven segment display. It requires input at at least seven of its pins to display something useful. But there was a problem. I wanted to use this 80 tiny DigiSpark module which only has six outputs, two of which were required for ultrasonic sensor, leaving me only with four pins. Then I found a perfect IC for this project, CD4511, which is a BCD to seven segment decoder. It accepts input at four of its pins and provides output following 8421 code at seven of its output pins, which are connected to a seven segment display. Let's see how it works. These are the four input pins of the IC and this is the number that will be displayed in the seven segment display according to the inputs. The four input pins can be interpreted as four numbers of the 8421 code. When all inputs are low, output will be zero. When only input A will be high, output will be one. When simultaneously two inputs will be high, for example, input A and B, output will be two plus one, that is three. Similarly, when input B and C will be high, output will be 4 plus 2, that is 6. This coding system is widely used in digital electronics and is called 8421 code or binary coded decimal code, abbreviated as BCD. To demonstrate its working, I connected everything on a breadboard according to the circuit diagram with microcontroller and ultrasonic sensor removed. These are the four input pins of the IC4511 currently grounded. I applied 5 volt to the circuit and 0 is displayed as expected. Then I randomly connected the pins to either 5 volt or ground to make sure it is working as it should. Then I bought in the microcontroller and connected input A, B and C to pins 2, 3 and 4 and also connected the power wires. Now I took the ultrasonic sensor, applied power to it and connected the trigger pin to pin 12 and eco pin to pin 13 of the Arduino and I uploaded the sketch. I took an obstacle and varied the distance between it and the sensor to check if the display number changes according to the program I have uploaded and it does. So for the final test, I uploaded the same sketch to the 80Tiny85 module after changing the pin numbers of eco and trigger to 0 and 1. To do so, use Arduino 1.6.5 and refer DigiSpark documentation on how to use this module. I will leave a link in the description. Then I removed the Arduino Uno and connected it to the same circuit using the circuit diagram. After applying 5 volts, I verified that the circuit is working as it was with the Uno. So the test is a success. I disconnected everything and collected all the required components. After a little planning, I soldered everything in the perf board. I used headers for connecting the 89 module, ultrasonic sensor and 7 segment display. Due to a little lack of space, I had to place few resistors at the bottom. I connected everything to their respective places and applied 5 volts and did a quick test to check it's working. As the ultrasonic sensor will be inside the overhead tank, to bring the connections down, I will be using a CAT5 
or category 5 cable which is also commonly known as ethernet cable. It consists of 8 wire inside and we will be needing only 4. So I cut short remaining 4 of it. It is made up of aluminium and is very hard to sort. But there is a trick involved. I stripped a wire from ribbon cable, place it side by side with the wire of CAT5 cable in V shape and twisted it thoroughly with the wire in the CAT5 cable. I did the same to all the four wires on both the ends. Now the ribbon cable should CAT solder easily and will hold up with the CAT5 cable. As the cable was short in length for my purpose, I joined two CAT5 cable using the same method. After that, I connected the male header at one end of the cable and soldered ultrasonic sensor at the other end. To secure the connections, I used some hot glue on both the ends. I connected the ultrasonic sensor again and applied 5 volts. It is working great and the project is complete. Before putting it in the tank though, I put the sensor in a box as there will be a high level of temperature, moisture and humidity inside the tank. Here are some pictures of it as I couldn't shoot it. So that's all for this video. I hope you like it. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing as more videos are coming soon. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time.